Welcome to another episode of The Rest of the Story. Now the Cobb family players star in the television newsroom. By now, you may have heard the first part of the story. A TV station in Charlotte, North Carolina, aired a report in its newscast claiming that a scientific study has shown that smelling human flatulence can cure cancer. A station reporter hit the street asking passersby whether they would be willing to sniff flatulence for the sake of maintaining health. We swear this really happened. Here is an actual excerpt from the TV news story as it was broadcast in Charlotte and posted on the internet in which the reporter appeared to pass gas on camera. Warning, this snippet of audio is completely tasteless and devoid of socially redeeming merit. Look, farting in public can be embarrassing, and let's face it, nobody wants to smell your flatulence. But a new study out of the United Kingdom says that smelling farts <coughs> could help reduce the risk of cancer and other chronic diseases. Now, here's the rest of the story. Before going on this assignment, the reporter, John, had to have a little chat with his boss, news director Dick Boyd. Let's listen in. Boss, you uh, you wanted to see me? John, come on in. Uh, Janet, Janet tells me, have a seat there. Janet tells me uh, that you're copying an attitude and dragging your heels and don't want to do your assignment today. Well, I, I wouldn't put it that way. Well, how would you put it? Dick, are you aware of the nature of the story Janet has assigned to me? Well, she said she has you following up on a medical story out of England. Sir, she wants me to claim the study says, I don't know how to put this. She wants me to say the scientists have found that sniffing flatulence can cure cancer. Wow, that, that is unusual. Yeah, the trouble is the study doesn't say that. It says hydrogen sulfide might have a beneficial effect. Now, flatulence just happens to be one of the places where you can find that chemical. Now, by flatulence, John, you mean farts? I hate that word, sir, but it, it, not only does she want me to say it, say that word, she wants me to fake passing gas on camera in a stand-up. She wants you to do an on-camera fart? She says I can fake it, but yes, essentially, that's what she wants. And you have a problem with that? Well, yes, sir. I mean, you know, I expected to raise a stink as a reporter, but not like this. Now, you think that's funny, John? You, you think this is a humorous situation, do you? No, I don't think it's funny. No, sir. But this is, this is not what I studied in journalism school. This is not what I signed up to do. Uh, Sean, let me be clear. I don't give a good damn about what any long-haired professor told you in your journalism school. Well, we are not in the journalism business. We're not in the news business. This is about ratings. Now, people can get the news anywhere, and they do. The kind of story Janet wants you to do isn't something they're going to see on any other TV station anywhere. Uh, sir, that's because other stations have standards. And I can feel real good about those standards when we're number one and we've run them right out of town. Uh, you don't look convinced. No, sir. Well, let me put it this way. You know... I get about a hundred unsolicited reporter applications a month, don't you? Uh, no, sir, I didn't know that. Well, here's my point, John. Either you do this story, or I'm going to pull one of those other applications out of that stack, and we're going to find somebody else who will. Okay, I get the message. Now, let me hear you say the phrase, sniffing farts. Sir, th there has to be some other way to say that, S some other way to get that point across. John, a good journalist stares the facts in the face and calls it like it is. Now, let me hear you say it. Sniffing farts. Okay, now put it in a tease for your story. Let me hear what your tease is going to sound like. If it meant improving your health, would you consider sniffing farts? I'll have that story at 10. John, you sound boring as hell. Now, do it again like you mean it. Sell it. If it meant improving your health, would you consider sniffing farts? I'll have that story at 10. John, one more time. With feeling. Put your back into it, son. <sighs> if it meant improving your health, would you consider sniffing farts? I'll have that story at 10. All right, John. Now go out there and get her done. I expect that story to rock, or you're going to roll right on out of here. Do we have a meeting of the minds? Yes, sir. Listen to the Forest Car Show on Tucson's Power Talk 1210 for more episodes of The Rest 
of the story. Today's episode brought to you by Dashing Dave's Discount Ambulance and Mortuary. You hit them, we get them. 